Hey everybody, Rick Dean of Handicapping Thoroughbred Racing from Parks Racing, Ben Salem, Pennsylvania, on Tax Day, Sunday, April the 15th, and this is my dayatthetrack.com race of the day. Let's take a look at race 8 this afternoon, folks, 3.22 p.m. Eastern Post Time. It's a 7 furlong sprint on the dirt track. Three-year-olds and up race for an optional claiming prize of $48,000. Contenders number 1, Antenna. Number six, Global Power. Number five, Surprise Storm. And number two, Unleash the Humor. Number one, Antenna, the overall speed leader in this optional claiming field, sprinting at today's specialized distance of seven furlongs on the dirt, has produced a quartet of power runs in his last five outings, sitting the board in three. Jockey Stuart Elliott and trainer Anthony Dutrow send him to the post this afternoon. They've whacked the tote board with 62% of their entries saddled as a team to date. Number six, Global Power, pace profile leader in this field, has hit the board in power run fashion in both of his last two outings, including a power run win in his second race back. Race eight summary, number one antenna, tops the contenders list today here at Parks Racing, which also includes number six, Global Power, number five, Surprise Storm, and number two, Unleash the Humor, one, six, five, two, and the eight from Parks Racing. Bonus long shots. Let's go to Woodbine up in Canada, race eight. Here in the hundred and fifty thousand dollar Woodstock Stakes, the eight to one shot. Number three, Oro Vero, has hit the board in power run fashion in both of his two career starts to date, including a power run win to break his maiden his last time out. Hawthorne near Chicago, race four, entry number four, Angel Talk, a five to one shot, qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony, drops in class by five units. Nice overall speed for this six for a long sprint so from parks racing i still call it philly park folks we need them on a sunday tax day for day at the track.com reminding you as always to please bet with your head not over